A.K. Mishra, let me bring you into the conversation. So, like I said, uh, one has to really give the uh, government credit where credit is due. As far as the highways are concerned, I'm not sure which one you've been on last, but uh, I've been on almost uh, most of them uh, going out of uh, Delhi. And it's been an absolutely fantastic experience. One thing where you think the government can probably improve upon, sir, as far as roads and highways are concerned, because still we see that as soon as the highway reaches, say, the internals of a city, that's when the issue starts a bit in terms of maintenance. So, you know, the, the, the outskirt stretch is absolutely fantastic. But as soon as the highway starts hitting the city, the internals of a particular large city, that's when we see that there are still some issues uh, as far as maintenance is concerned, potholes are concerned. Whatever issues we are talking, this issue, issue it is not from today or uh, since the last nine years. This issue is uh, right uh, from 1947 after getting independence. Independence. One question comes, very fundamental question comes in my mind that at the same time Japan also got independent. You see there was the atomic explosion and the worst condition was of, 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 of if any country was facing that was the Japan. China got also independence in same period. They developed. One question I want to ask with past government, was there any kind of well-planned conspiracy? Why they stopped the growth of country? Why they could not match the growth rate of the country as per the Japan, China or all these things? In 1970, America, America completed all these basic infrastructure growth, rail, road, communication, electricity. And today we are thinking or we started the growth rate started in India as per the need of our country since last 9 or 10 years when BJP <coughs> came into the power. Okay. So whatever the growth, it is sufficient. We should say thanks. Of, of course, course of course. One does say thanks, sir. But when one does pay the taxes, yes, then yes. one expects yes. that even within cities, the roads would be great. Yes, and yes, like yes. I said, I congratulate the government uh, wholeheartedly because I have yes. used the highways and I'm very, very happy with the experience I've had. So yes. I'm a very yes. happy citizen. The government or leader, those who claim, say, likewise in one debate, one person was saying Nehru was very visionary leader. Of course, you tell me any 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 one sector in last 70 year where we got independence, self-sufficient, except one that is the Harit Pranti Green Revolution. And thanks to the Lal Bahadur Shastri, he was a visionary leader. At right. least in one sector, he got, you can say, the uh, full type of Aak Nirbharta in Green Revolution. Okay. This All is right. one thing. Second important thing, one more thing, people are also claiming that in poverty hung, uh, in poverty index or hunger index, we are far behind than Pakistan. Uh, come on, here for one year continuously, biryani, one of the, one of the most delicious and costly items is going to be served continuously one, e one year in Sahin Bar. Yes, absolutely. And, and of course, that's not... Uh... We've a lot of times in our channel as well, sir. We've said that all of these reports that come out, someone needs to do uh, perhaps release some counter reports that actually reflect the reality of the world. So, so I'll come back to you, Mr. Mishra. Sumit Ports, AK Mishra, I'm sure, sir, you've seen the transformation of airports in the past few years. How has your experience been, sir? It's very fantastic experience, especially if uh, we see we, uh, you are talking about the Northeast. I was reading one news that after 70 years of ind independence, so for the first time railway was introduced there. You see how it was neglected. As you told in your uh, report, uh, you were uh, reading that border road structure and all these developments, especially in U UP, if you see, forget about the North, some such a big state was there. T4 only operational uh, international airport was there, Varanshi was there and Lucknow was there. After that only Delhi. Right now, Zewar Airport is there, one of the biggest of biggest airport of Asia, as well as Koshambi. Approximately four or five international level, uh, uh, level airport are executed. This is the same question, not only for UP. The government is very much focusing, especially for the neglected type of the area. Likewise, border area, hilly area. Because of this, government is very much sincere and they are treating each and every part on equal pace. You see, more than 6.5 lakhs villages are there, 8,000 towns are there, <coughs> and approximately 530 districts are there, 29 states are there. Catering from such a huge population, every every house is going to get the collection of water, LPG, 
splendor as well as the electricity already they have completed 100% electrification almost has been done and 18 hour supply especially in up my experience in villages 18 hour continuous supply is there bulb has been already distributed led bulb massive program was there the each and every household has been covered or aviation whatever government has committed their promise ki hawai chappal pehne wala bhi hawai jahaz se chalega it may take little bit time but the nature but the quantum how they are going to develop the airport in different small small town strategic town also definitely the day will come when yes. rail and other thing will be different thing but the aviation will be the most common mood likewise it is in america and other developed country absolutely our standard will be at par no it's not just uh, that they're developing highways right so mcpeer it's also uh, railway connectivity and also your airports everything you you can have access to as many places possible now and what, that what unlocks that unleashes uh, the potential for businesses for the economy to also flourish but at the same time